To find out what things are like right now inside Louisville Metro Corrections, we talked to one man who was recently released from there. Dennis Murray was in jail for 36 days for not paying two traffic tickets. So why is it so crowded there? Why do you keep people so long? I mean, you got people, you got to step over people. Dennis Murray says he could tell Louisville Metro Corrections was short staffed during his stay at the jail. I've got high blood pressure and uh, it was almost a week or 10 days before they even got my blood pressure medicine to me. Uh, I almost passed out a couple of times. Uh, my blood pressure was 100 over 135 a couple of times. Louisville Metro Corrections is currently 200 inmates above its recommended capacity, and nearly one third of the jail's positions are unfilled, according to the Metro Corrections FOP. Stories like Murray's have motivated the ACLU to write a letter supporting recent concerns of the FOP. It's really a unique opportunity for us to say, hey, we're, there's actually some consensus here among two groups that often aren't going to find things in common. The ACLU says the city must do more to fund programs that keep people out of jail in the first place. We've got to quit thinking we can incarcerate our way out of our problems because in reality, what we're doing is creating new problems for everyone. Metro Council President David James says the city quadrupled spending on anti-violence programs this year and directed millions in federal stimulus to help the homeless and others. Now he's looking at ways to attract more corrections officers. I hope to be able to introduce an ordinance uh, using some of our ARP funds and some of our mid-year adjustment funds to be able to offer hiring incentives and retention incentives to keep our personnel working. Murray agrees something must be done. In general, people think everybody's in jail is a career criminal. We're not. We're there for a lot of traffic fines, stupid stuff, simple things. Mark Vanderhoff. WLKY News. James also called on Mayor Fisher to raise corrections officers' salaries. The mayor's office did not respond to a request for comment.